The battle for dominance amongst cyber powers has never been more intense than in the past few years. Today, if a country cannot control its cyber assets, it's not secure. Yet despite the increasing importance of cyberspace in global politics, economics, and defense, a comprehensive evaluation of national cyber power has not been carried out until now. So who are the most powerful nations in cyberspace? And which countries are most capable of carrying out their national objectives through cyber warfare? In this video, we will bring you the latest rank of countries by cyber power. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Done that? Let's go. Number 15, India. The strengths of the Indian digital economy include a vibrant startup culture, and a very large talent pool, so you could be forgiven for assuming that India would feature higher in this year's ranking. But despite the geostrategic instability of its region and a keen awareness of the cyber threat it faces, India has made only modest progress in developing its policy and doctrine for cyberspace security. Number 14. Indonesia Although Indonesia has some cyber surveillance and cyber espionage capabilities, it has limited cyber intelligence capabilities and there is little evidence of it planning for or having conducted offensive cyber operations. Number 13. Iran Iran regards itself as being in an intelligence and cyber war with its enemies and is thought to be behind several major attacks around the world. In 2012, Iranian hackers struck Saudi Arabia's national oil company, Saudi Aramco, nearly obliterating its corporate IT infrastructure and bringing the company close to collapse but its cyber capabilities do not match the scale and sophistication of its ballistic missile or nuclear program, even though it has used lower-level offensive cyber techniques widely. With some success, it lacks the resources, talent, and technical infrastructure needed to develop and deploy sophisticated offensive cyber capabilities. Number 12. Japan Japan's defenses in cyberspace are not especially strong, with many corporations unwilling to meet the costs of strengthening them. The country still does not have an official military cyber strategy, but has made modest organizational changes in its armed forces, including the creation of some dedicated cyber units. But its offensive cyber capabilities remain underdeveloped because of the constitutional and political constraints on the country's use of force. Number 11. Malaysia On cybersecurity, Malaysia was a regional first mover and compares well with many other countries. Its ongoing commitment was demonstrated in 2020, with new cybersecurity strategies for the civil sector and for national defense. It compensates for some of its shortcomings in cyber capability through international alliances, particularly with the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, and Singapore. Number 10. North Korea Little is known about North Korea's cyber ecosystem, but since 2015, its cyber activity has consisted mainly of large-scale cyber fraud and extortion as a way of bolstering the country's access to hard currency. North Korea is believed to be behind a significant number of attacks on the United States, including the one which recently targeted Sony. Despite its penchant for conducting offensive cyber operations, access to the global internet is strictly controlled by the government and depends on a very small number of gateways provided by Chinese and Russian service providers, a lack of diversity that makes the connections highly vulnerable to disruption. Since it lacks the capability for sustained or sophisticated operations, the country's level of cybersecurity is among the lowest in the world, hampered by a low cyber skills base, largely the result of its self-imposed isolation, weak education system, and underdeveloped ICT sector. Number 9. Vietnam Just like the countries mentioned earlier, Vietnam is a third-tier cyber power, but it has considerable digital ambition and potential. The government has put in place a suite of strategies for cybersecurity and the advancement of its national power in cyberspace, including in the military domain. While overall offensive cyber capabilities are relatively weak, the covert government-linked group APT-32 is thought to be capable of launching relatively sophisticated cyber attacks. But a lack of funds and a huge shortage of cybersecurity talent holds the country back from placing higher up in the rankings. The second tier of cyber powers each have world-leading strengths in some categories of cyber power, according to this year's Cyber Power Index. Number 8. Australia In 2016, Australia formally acknowledged for the first time that it possessed offensive cyber capabilities launching attacks against the Islamic State. 
The country is still developing its military cyber strategies and policies after setting up an information warfare division in 2017. And because of its 70-year membership of the Five Eyes Intelligence Alliance, Australia has more mature cyber capabilities than its modest defense and intelligence budgets might suggest. Number 7. Canada A strong and in some regards world-leading tech economy gives Canada an advantage, but it relies on other countries to provide most of the hardware that powers modern ICT systems. Its cyber potential is enhanced by its proven ability to operate in alliance with other cyber-capable states, giving it access to additional assets, especially those based in outer space. Number 6. China China is a second-tier cyber power, but given its growing industrial base and digital technology, it is the state best place to join the U.S. in the first tier. But that won't be for at least the next decade, as poor security and weak intelligence analysis will hold it back. Starting from a position of relative backwardness in electronics in the 1990s, China has established the world's most extensive cyber-enabled domestic surveillance and censorship system which is tightly controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. Since the early 2000s, China has conducted large-scale cyber operations abroad, aiming to acquire intellectual property, achieve political influence, carry out state-on-state -state espionage, and position its cyber capabilities for disruptive effect in case of future conflict. China has ambitious goals, aiming to become a world leader in technology by 2030. And its intention of becoming a cyber power is reflected in its military cybersecurity strategy but its core cyber defenses remain weak compared with those of the United States, and cyber resilience policies for its critical national infrastructure are only in the early stages of development. Number 5. France France has shown itself to be highly capable and innovative on cybersecurity and favors regulation as a means of addressing cyber threats. Its offensive cyber capability is mature and the country has a wide cyber intelligence reach, but keeps its cybersecurity functions organizationally separate from its intelligence community. Number 4. Israel Israel was one of the first countries to identify cyberspace as a potential threat to its national security and started to address the issue more than 20 years ago. On offensive cyber operations, little has been publicly admitted, but notable attacks that have been attributed to Israel include the use of the Stuxnet worm against Iran and an attack against an Iranian port in 2020. Drawing from a highly skilled talent pool, it's no surprise that Israel has a well-developed capacity for offensive cyber operations and is prepared to undertake them to defend itself. Number 3. Russia Russia's cyber strategy is dictated by its confrontation with the West, in which it sees cyber operations as an essential component of a wider information war. It has credible offensive cyber capabilities and has used them extensively as part of a much broader strategy aimed at disrupting the policies and politics of perceived adversaries, especially the US. It has run extensive cyber intelligence operations, some of which reveal increasing levels of technical sophistication. But Russia appears not to have given priority to developing the top-end surgical cyber capabilities needed for high-intensity warfare. And the country is highly dependent on foreign ICT corporations. To join the U.S. in the first tier, it would need to improve its cybersecurity and make further progress in developing the most sophisticated offensive military cyber tools. Number 2. The United Kingdom The U.K. has developed and used offensive cyber capabilities since at least the early 2000s and is investing further in their expansion. It has world-class strengths in its cybersecurity ecosystem, centered on the National Cybersecurity Center and in its related cyber intelligence capability centered on the Government Communications Headquarters, or GCHQ. Perhaps the UK's key weaknesses, in common with most other states, are shortfalls in its skilled cyber workforce and that it cannot afford to invest in cyber capabilities on the same scale as the United States or China. Number 1. The United States of America the U.S. has been building its dominance in cyberspace since the mid-1990s, and its power is amplified by highly sophisticated intelligence sharing networks like the Five Eyes Alliance. It remains the world's preeminent cyber power and is likely to retain that position ahead of China at least until 2030. Being the home for many of the world's leading cyber companies is one of the benefits the U.S. enjoys from its long history of tech development. It is the only country with a heavy global footprint in both civil and military uses of cyberspace and retains a clear superiority over every other country in terms of its ICT infrastructure. 
The U.S. is the only country in the top tier in terms of cyber power because of its digital industrial superiority, highly trained cyber professionals, cryptographic expertise, and the ability to execute advanced cyber strikes against its enemies. Surprised to see certain countries missing from the list? Do you agree or disagree with how the researchers analyze things? One of the key takeaways from the overall assessment is that the U.S. is the overwhelming dominant global cyber power, while its closest rival China is unlikely to match it for at least the next decade. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Until next time.